Hello, this is Leo at the Lead Time. In today's video, I want to show you how to separate the coffee aroma from the taste by hydro distillation and explain the benefits of the coffee aroma. Hey, when you walk into a coffee shop and smell the coffee aroma, do you feel happier? If so, the science has an explanation for this. There's one study that gives the coffee aroma to the patients in a dental surgery. They found out the chemical level got decreased by 40%, which measures the stress. This is not only happened to the group who are frequent coffee drinker or like coffee, but also for the other group, the not coffee drinker and even don't like coffee. This is very interesting. Another study, they use a rat and they discover the coffee aroma changes the mRNA and protein expression within the rat brain. And this proves the potential antioxidant and the stress relaxation activity of coffee aroma. During another study, researchers split 114 students into two groups and answering the math questions from a GMAT test. One group exposed to coffee flavor aroma, they have a significantly higher score than the other group. A follow-up survey showed the coffee aroma keep them having a being more alert and energetic compared with without scent or just a flower scent. So if you are going to take a test, remember take the coffee aroma with you. This may help you. I'm using the hydro distillation today. And also you can watch my other video I'm doing the steam distillation with the coffee powder. So the difference is hydro distillation, you mix the material with water and in the pot, and then the steam will come out and through the condenser and back into the distillate. using the cooling water the circulation system. You can also do the manual adding ice cubes into the condenser and then manually scoop up the warm water with time. The benefit of manual cooling is it saves space. You don't have a, a bucket, you don't have a pump. You just use the ice cube to add in there to do the cooling. And that is a perfect for a shorter Pure of a distillation and these the circulation system can reduce your workload and also it's good for the longer period of distillation. I'm excited to show you what is a, the coffee hydrosol look like. Pretty cloudy. What is the difference between aroma and the flavor? Within the coffee beans, there are thousands of chemicals. One group called a volatile organic compound, the second group called non-volatile organic compound. Aroma belongs to the first group. When you're brewing the coffee, those volatile compounds are called essential oil, they vaporize and go into the air. That heat of our nose that make a, a beautiful smell within our brain. And within this group, the uh, example of the chemical called aldehyde because they have a special smell. And the second group that keeping the coffee 
and it will hit our tongue rather than the nose. So this is the typical one called caffeine. Arabic and Robusta coffee beans are the two major types of the coffee. Difference between these two, we know Robusta has a stronger and a more bitter than the Arabic. But the Arabic has a much better the aroma, the smell. Because Arabic has more essential oil compared with the Robusta. Arabic has about 16% and 5% more than the Robusta. But Arabic has less caffeine. It is around 1% compared with the Robusta, which is up to 4%. So when we are taking the aroma out of uh, the coffee beans by distillation, so that's why I choose Arabic coffee. And I'm using the medium roast because the medium roast has a less smoky aroma compared with the dark roast. It has a very strong, very strong coffee, uh, the, the smell. I see a little bit bitter, very mild bitter, but it does have like a smoke taste and a coffee, you know, the the part of the coffee but that's not that the bitter or strong taste. Yeah, I think it's very interesting, very interesting. You you gotta try it. The benefit obviously it has a flavor, it doesn't have those color, you know, so you can use as a spray in the air. You know, on the face because it contains the antioxidant, so it's good for the skin. So you can use it as a spray in air on the face or even put a diffuser. Especially when you are doing your work or you need uh, more attention, more attention, focus on something, you may want to try this. Hopefully, you learned something today. Please like the video. And thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, see you next time.